Hi, David Hall with the Gold and Silver Coin Report. It is Friday, September 22nd, 2017. Metals came, uh, dropped back in price this week as the uh, Fed announced it will start unwinding all of its quantitative easing. Uh, I don't know about you, but I still don't uh, believe that they're really unwinding. They're still buying bonds. They're still, you know, it's still the same old game. National debt over 20 trillion now. So uh, since Obama was elected, so it's at nine-ish years, uh, we went from under 10 trillion in uh, debt to over 20 trillion in debt. We used to say back in the day, oh, we owe it to ourselves. What does it matter? Well, it does matter because we don't just owe it to ourselves. We owe it to the Chinese. We owe it to all of the bondholders, including ourselves, uh, which is the American taxpayer, the productive members of our society who hold, uh, also hold uh, bonds. So, look. Uh, the metals back down on this Fed announcement, but they have run up about $100 for gold. Gold at under $1,300 uh, continues to be a bargain as does silver under 20. The exact numbers for this week: gold closed at 1294.80, off $28. Silver closed at 16.97, off 73 cents. Platinum closing at 933 off $42. Look, if they're going to sell gold and silver, precious metals, at a cheaper price, all we should say is thank you and buy more. So, uh, one of the things to be worried about is uh, what the Chinese are doing, which is basically trying to make the RMB, the Chinese yuan, uh, the a important world reserve currency. The era of the petrodollar perhaps being o over as people will start selling oil for SDR, special drawing rights, which will include uh, gold, uh, uh, the Chinese RMB, and other currencies, including the U.S. dollar. But the dominance of the U.S. dollar, uh, as we know, long term uh, here uh, will have a, a short life. So again, we have a discount for gold and silver. Coins, Kate, coins are very available. Coins are available. We don't have a shortage problem at this time. It's a good time. Uh, what we really like is the U.S. gold coins, which in some cases are almost selling for their melt value. It's just, uh, as we've said, it's very hard uh, to buy gold on the cheap, but this one kind of makes me and Van scratch our heads. How can you buy U.S. gold coins, not eagles, mind you, but vintage ones, some 100 years old, for about their melt price? A big, big bargain. Speaking of bargains, the rare coin market is definitely uh, starting to pick up. There is a severe shortage of top quali quality coins. It is not no longer a buyer's market. It's hard to get coins. Our inventory is low. All dealer inventories are low. It's a good time to get involved in the rare coin market. So give Van a call about that or call us about gold and silver or anything that you'd like to know about gold, silver, or the rare coin market. In the meantime, have fun with your coins and buy gold and silver.